Chief's visit. Good evening, Father Okello. Thank you for joining us on Your World. Uh, good evening. Father, now please take us through some of the sentiments ahead of the Pope's visit to Kenya. Uh, the Pope's visit to Kenya has now been organized for the last three months and tomorrow he'll be arriving at five o'clock and we are all ready and set to receive him. Now, Father Keller, with Pope Francis arriving tomorrow and you being part of the organizing committee, how were the preparations logistically? Uh, the preparations have been uh, basically to make the structures and infrastructures necessary to receive him and to prepare the venues where he would meet various groups and to conduct various activities. Uh, all that has been done and all the venues are ready. Uh, the logistics also included mobilizing all the different categories of groups he was going to meet and all that is ready, preparing the cards, because all venues are being accessed through invitation and uh, security to make sure that everything is in order. Uh, so I think our preparations are in order. Father, what security contingents do you have in place, considering the fact that security is such a big issue in Kenya? Uh, our police force has been mobilized in large numbers so that we have up to 10,000 policemen that are going to mobilize uh, themselves in all venues. We have tried to vet everybody that is invited to participate in the activities and we have encouraged all our Christians to be vigilant and to be cooperative in all the activities that are taking place. As I would, uh, I would uh, assure you, all our security initiatives are according to the standards required. Now, Father Okello, this has been three months in the making with the preparations and ensuring that uh, everything is in place for the pontiff arriving tomorrow in Kenya. Now, what's the feeling on the ground? Kenyans have been asked to come out in their numbers in support of the pontiff and the church and just to see him and, uh, you know, be present in his presence. What's the feeling on the ground? What are Kenyans saying? Uh, according to the latest statistics that have been released, Kenyans are very enthusiastic and very eager to receive His Holiness Pope Francis. It seems that uh, the message has reached home uh, of what kind of person he is, and this has created a very great eagerness and enthusiasm among our people who would like to see him at least with their eyes and to listen to his voice. Father Okello, what's the significance of the visit to Kenya and the continent in general? Uh, this is a very important visit for us. Uh, Kenya has been very lucky this year and even uh, last year we have received very high profile visitors. Uh, this one is the top of them all almost to conclude the year. And uh, Kenyans are going to benefit a lot from this visit especially because of the situation in which we live, a country that has been divided by political lines and uh, violence and uh, tribalism. We want to receive a guest who is able to talk to all of us as a people and as a family. This Pope is also having a very simple lifestyle that will be a good message for our leaders also to lower their standards and live within their means. Uh, which would help also reduce the levels of uh, corruption and overborrowing that is uh, a big problem for our country today. Now, Father Okello, you just mentioned that uh, the Pope is a very simple person who lives a simple life. Do we know if uh, the pontiff will be meeting with the leadership of the country? Yes, yes, yes. According to the program, when he arrives tomorrow at five o'clock, the first destination will be uh, to visit State House. He will have a private conversation with our president and his ministers from Rome will have also a bilateral discussion with the selected cabinet uh, secretaries. 
Therefore, there is a quite an encounter between the Pope and the Kenyan authorities. Father, now peace and tolerance are some of the issues the pontiff has mentioned that he will be uh, discussing on his visit. What other issues will he be highlighting? Um, I don't have a very clear idea of what kind of issues he will highlight. But we know the Pope, how he is, and uh, his speeches are usually very simple, addressed to people. Uh, without condemning anybody, he will highlight certainly the way we should live. Uh, he will highlight, for example, issues that are to do with being tolerant to each other, accepting each other, and really paying attention to the poor, and paying attention to the youth. This will be central to his talk, I believe. He will also perhaps encourage us on the, on the fear that we are experiencing now, after being under the attacks of uh, Al-Shabaab for the last two to three years. Father Okello, thank you so much for joining us. That was Father Stephen Okello, who is coordinating the Pope's visit, joining us live from Nairobi in Kenya.